Hello and thank you for joining me today. My name is Erin and I'm an accountant at Smart Business Solutions and today I will be showing you how to set up a new bank account within Xero. So as you can see, I do have my Xero file open. I'm currently in the dashboard and I already have a credit card set up. However, I do want to add my main business bank account. So I'm going to head over to the accounting tab and head to bank statements or bank accounts. From here, I'm going to select add bank account. and I'm going to search for the bank I'm with. If you're with a common bank, you will probably see it in the drop down here and you can select it directly from here. But if you are with another bank that doesn't show there, you can just search it within here. So for this example, I'm using a Bank of Melbourne bank account and I'm going to select the Bank of Melbourne option here. You then want to obviously enter in the account name. So this doesn't have to be the identical name um, of your actual bank account. This is basically how you want it to show in Xero. If you've got the one bank account, you can just put business bank account. Um, however, as you start to have multiple bank accounts or with multiple banks, it's probably really important to start uh, naming your bank account so they're easily identifiable. So for example, um, my credit cards with ANZ, this is a Bank of Melbourne business bank account. So you can even just do bomb business account. Um, you don't even have to include the bank name. Um, it, this is entirely up to you. So you could even just do the business account and the account number, the last four digits of the account number. So for example, my bank account ends in 6789. And I'll show you why that is pretty relevant uh, in a moment. So then heading over to the account type, you will most likely always have to select the everyday account unless it is a loan or a credit card. Otherwise, you just select everyday. Enter in your BSB and account number. If you are with multiple currencies, you can uh, select the correct currency in this drop down. And if you are utilizing batch payments within Xero, make sure that you do tick this. Some banks do require this direct entry user ID. So make sure you do have that number accessible and enter that in. Otherwise you will come across errors when trying to utilize the batch payment feature within Xero. And you can always add that at a later date as well. Once I've hit save, it will bring me back uh, to this page here, which will allow me to, I guess, get my bank feed going. So if you're not aware, a bank feed within Xero is basically a link between Xero and the bank account, purely just to access your transactions. Um, and you can't make transactions within Xero. It's more just so you have uh, a direct access to your income coming in and your money going out for easily reconciling and keeping up to date within your Xero file. So really, really important that you do link these and try to do it straight away otherwise i can see business gets busy life gets busy and then you have a lot of catching up to do so from here i can download my form i will show you what this form does look like so just making sure that you review um the account name the account number again this is not entirely relevant because it is what you want your zero file to show but making sure that you're entering in the date the account number um, and signing it here but making sure that you're signing it with your pen and not uh, an online signing feature as most banks actually won't accept these forms if they're not wet signatured once you've signed that you can uh, upload it to your uh, zero file here and then it will take they do say up to 10 days but I do see it come back a, a lot sooner than that I'm going to select I'll do it later just to show you back of what this looks like on the dashboard so you can see here uh, like I said I have my two bank accounts you'll see this go I guess live once this turns activated it will actually prompt you nice and green and you will probably start to see um, a little box appear rather than get bank feeds you'll see reconcile and that is just proof that your transactions are flowing through into zero so any I guess transactions that you make today will actually appear within zero by 6 a.m tomorrow morning so there is a little bit of a delay but generally it is you know within 24 hours you'll see your transactions and that will make for really easy bookkeeping uh, this is with Bank of Melbourne. So if you are with one of the big four banks, and I'm not too sure what other banks do um, have this feature, but you can actually link your bank feeds directly with within your uh, online banking as well, depending on what bank you're with. By clicking get bank feeds on one of these big four banks, you will notice that it opens up uh, Zero Central. So I have just gone and gone back a step. Um, so this isn't just ANZ, but every bank 
bank feed. And you'll see here that every single bank uh, feed option within Xero actually has their own, I guess, list of instructions because every bank is actually different in how they enable you to connect your bank feed. So within ANZ, if you were to scroll down to apply for your feed, it's pretty straightforward with their steps. It says log into your online banking and then follow ANZ's direct instructions. So this again will take you to another set of instructions on how to link your ANZ bank feed. Like I said, though, every bank is different. So some will make you log into your online banking and go to different areas. So this um, page is really useful if, you're, if you are with multiple banks uh, to get these bank feeds set up uh, you know, within the day of opening your bank account. So like I said, you know, if, if it gets too far away, it's a lot of admin to, I guess, catch up with these things. So trying to do this as soon as you have your bank account um, operating. And it is very easy just to follow the steps within either Xero's set of instructions or within the bank um, website themselves. Once you do follow those steps and get your bank feeds connected, uh, if you did do it through one of these big four banks through the online bank feature, it does take only generally 24 hours to 48 hours to actually update your feed. And again, this will go from get bank feeds to most likely reconcile if you've had transactions occur. And again, if you do these three dots, it will actually say activated. And that's, I guess, confirmation that your feed is up and running. Where you have to be careful, though, is once that bank feed is up and running, I would always suggest, uh, if it lets me get to my bank account, let's see. Getting to this page, so all I did here was click on, if I go back one step, clicking on your bank account name, it brings you to this page and under bank statements, this is where you'll start to see all those transactions feeding through. Over underneath source, it will also say bank feed. Uh, a really great tip to make sure your bank feed um, and I guess your bank account within Xero has captured every single transaction from the start is taking note of once that bank feed source starts coming through and all your transactions come through, have a look to see the first date of the first transaction that came through as a bank feed because you may actually see a bit of a gap. So if I set this um, bank feed live as of today and my transactions don't come through for another 48 hours, any transactions that I made today may or may not actually feed through within zero. So some bank accounts will, I guess, proactively import these transactions, but not always. And you do want to make sure that you've got every single transaction within uh, zero if you've just created a, a new bank account. Uh, easy fix though. So say you notice a couple of transactions missing from today when your bank fee goes active from tomorrow, you can actually manually import those missing transactions. However, that is how you do set up a bank account. If you do have any issues with creating one within Xero or unsure on how to manually upload those um, transactions that are missed, feel free to always reach out. Thank you.